Welcome back in, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy right here on the Golf Talk Radio Network. Again, filling in uh, for Mr. Billy Gibbs, we've got in the studio, we have Mr. Dave Shimandel from Slick Sticks. We have Nikki Anderson, Golf Talk Radio producer, and also Jim DeLobby, PGA professional. Uh, we were talking about uh, last segment just uh, about some of the surprises, and we kind of veered off in some other things, but uh, maybe some seagulls and stuff. You'll have to listen to the <laughs> podcast that <was> good. <laughs> to, figure that, to figure out what happened there. You can check us out on iTunes and visit golftalkradio.com to find our podcast, which will be posted later on tonight, tomorrow. And um, we're going to go into our picks that we did a couple weeks ago, and we can kind of, I think, segue this, guys, with – if there's any other surprises of the players that, you know, where they've ended up and where they are, even the ones who made the cut, where they're standing right now. Uh, so let's go right to this. We posted this on our Instagram. I posted this on Facebook as well. But first, you know what? Let me ask Jim. Jim, who, who did you pick or who was your thought to win the Masters before this all started this year? Tiger and a lefty. I have two lefties left. You had ti- Tiger. You had Tiger and Mick? Tiger and lefties. I said, oh, it's Tiger like, and Lee, but you can only pick one. I know, Billy challenged me, but I never did. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was on another show. Yeah. And then who got was Bubba and Harmon left? Who was your who was your who was your dark horse then? Did you have you know if you were to get, get to pick a dark horse, or did you even pick a Harman. dark horse before this started? Harmon. Yeah, good pick. And then who did you think was primed to miss the cut? Who was someone that we 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 would be surprised about? I didn't have that pick. Okay, I'm gonna put question mark. All right, so here's what we had. Started with Nikki. Nikki picked Bubba to win it. The 2018 Shot. Masters, right? Billy took Justin Rose. Mr. Dave Shimano with Jordan Spieth. And we had myself. I flip-flopped. I went with <laughs> Justin Thomas. And when I say flip-flopped, I originally had Fowler, and I think I flipped him because I started getting a lot of grief. Billy was trying to have influence on the picks. So he was he having was. a lot, was of, lot, of, lot of grief going on there. Uh, Hop, our producer over in Bakersfield, picked Bubba. Jim took Tiger. Uh, Dark Horses. So Dark Horses, uh, Nikki took uh, Shoffley, which he's in. <laughs> he's, 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 in he's playing. He's in there. He's Billy, Billy took Kistner. I think he, 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 made, the cut, he, I made, think the he cut. made the cut. Yeah, he was, he was uh, let's see here. Yeah, he's in third third place right now. It's not too shabby. So Kissner and then Dave took Harmon as a dark horse. I took Finau, which is now Paul Casey. Casey's in fifth place right now, but he's also played the most holes today on the third round, so he's probably going to fall out of that. And then uh, Hop took uh, Afa Barnett. Is that how you say him? Barnrat. Barnrat. Thank you, Barnrat. <laughs> That's right. That's just, it's crazy. Great name. And then he also, uh, and then Jim took Harmon. And then for to miss the cut, Nikki took Spieth. Oh, Nikki. <laughs> hey, you know, the potential is there. I know. I, I got to say, I was very surprised that he opened with six under on the first day. I was very surprised by that. Well, he's played four times, and his worst finish is, what, six? Fourth? Yeah. It's, like that. Yeah, but hasn't he missed more cuts already than Tiger has in his whole career? Not in the Masters. I'm talking about That's horses, in general. Well, horses for courses. That's and, true. Uh, that's true. <laughs> he likes that one. Yeah, that's true. And then Billy took Reed to miss the cut. Oh God. Dave took Dave took Rory. <laughs> yeah, that was a good pick, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that why Billy's not here today? Uh, probably. Uh, I took Fowler. Hop took Kepka. I don't even know if Kepka played. Did he? I thought. I no, thought he, didn't he withdraw? Yeah, he withdrew, and then Jim didn't have a pick. So. So that's where we're at. So right now, um, I'd say we're all, I think we're all in the running in some way, shape, or form. When you look at this, we talk about Nikki's got Bubba, Billy has Rose, Dave has Spieth, I have uh, Justin Thomas, and uh, Hop has Bubba, and then we could put Jim in there. You can have Jim, you've got Tiger, you got Harmon, or you had, I guess, Mickelson. Who else was Bubba. a lefty? Bubba. Bubba. Okay. So that's not too bad. I mean, when you look at it, um, just trying to see who's up on top right now. So, obviously, Reed's oh, still, best yeah, position have, right now. Yeah. We've got Reed still, obviously, is in first. Uh, then we have Spieth is in fourth. Thomas Thomas is in uh, sixth. Fowler's right behind him in seventh, which is my cut guy. 
You have them at seventh. I have them at eighth. Is it eighth? Yeah, yeah. The, my board's not updating as fast. But we're all we're all pretty much in there. I think the the person who's furthest down on the list as far as winners goes is Rose. Rose and Watson. Which is surprising. Yeah. You know, Justin Rose, of all people, really had a lot in line going into this. There's a lot of people picking Rose yeah. going into this tournament. Yeah. You he know? was one of my six yeah. that I picked. Yeah. It's because I'm not there. That's why. I'm his, I'm his support group. What, what, what's he <laughs> standing there. right now? Isn't he? He's, He's under par, isn't he? He is uh, uh, two under par. Yeah. I think anybody that's under par has a chance. Seven shots back. Seven shots, two days. That's it's it's a big stretch, and there's a lot of players, but it's makeable. Uh, I've always loved Oosthuizen. I mean, that uh, Oosthuizen's right there too. He's a he's a two under with fall with Fowler and Fanau. I mean, you talk about one of the great shots in Masters who his, Masters history. In my you texted me I, on that I, one. I was there, right? Yeah. Fifty yards. We were the closest. I've been looking at the replay. Yeah. Me and my brother in law were fifty. Yards from him, he was up here. We didn't care because we're looking for Phil. Yeah, Phil's up in, on three. Yeah, and um, we just we yeah. ah, whatever. He for those shot. those Go folks home. out there, Bam. Jimmy just pointed to his right and then to his left. Good job, <laughs> good job, Billy's replacement. You know the but, thing is, it's been raining there this morning, so all the people out there playing now are playing in the rain. Then there's supposed to be a break, kind of good, actually. a uh, three-hour yeah. break in the it. rain, so. soften up the greens. So we'll see, and then it's supposed to pick up and rain again starting at three. So it's gonna be it's gonna be gonna be very very interesting. There's no doubt about that. Boy, can you imagine how long that course plays when it gets wet? Oh, oh I, my god, it is so long. I mean, how many par, five, par fours have they got over five hundred? Uh, it's they, that's a few. I don't know. Well, not only you that, but that just up. think about how far the ball runs. Every time they hit it into the yeah, fairway, I mean, it runs saying. and it's... runs and runs and runs. And if they don't have that, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, so here we go. So par five, uh, you just asked, Dave, 575 for hole number two. I mean, the par four is over 500. Uh, you've got. And two's downhill, so it kind of evens it out. Yeah, you know, yeah. Too. yeah. 450, hole number seven. 460, hole number nine. 570 for the par 5 on number 8. I mean, that's a really long par 5, too. You yeah. know, I mean, I know you're talking par 4s, but you've got hole number 11. And they're, they're knocking it on 8. Hole number, yeah, hole number 11. So crazy, isn't it? <laughs> hole 11, par 4, 505-yard par 4. That's just wrong. I, I don't know how is I – don't, I don't get that. Is that downhill? It's got to be. I, I don't know. What hole is that? It's hole number four, white dogwood, or hole number 11, excuse me. Well, 11's downhill, yeah. Yeah, so no, that, that's why. I was yeah. watching this with uh, John Strecker, the, uh, one of the pros over at Monarch, the other day, and it was funny. Every shot they hit, we're going, oh, don't hit it there, or my goodness, that's a good shot. Or, and I looked at him after a while, I said, isn't it amazing? Neither of us ever stepped on that property, but we know every blade of grass out there, and, and you know, don't hit it there, and hit it there, and... <laughs> So funny. <laughs> and what do you know any other course like that? No. No. I mean, even the old course, St. Andrews, I, I know 18 is kind of short and 17 is dog leg right. Defined Augusta, way. we know every dang hole out there. It is pretty amazing. You know, four you know. is a drivable par three. We're going next year, right, Dave? Mm, I would like to. We all said we're going. <laughs> we all said we're going. Wow. Yeah. You on, you on the are that. you on the bang, bandwagon? You coming? Jump into that one. Okay, well Favorite that would, place. that would be good. So, so we got our picks that are out there. We're still all of us are still relatively in it. What about any other any other surprises? Any other? Well, are we going to choose like at this point who we think is going to win? Yeah, we can do that. We yeah. can do that when we come back at the at, for clubbing with Dave. Okay, I think okay. we. I'm sticking with Spieth. Oh, of course. Yeah, I. I would think that you who would. goes on those vacation. I think all the boys that hang together, it's Spieth when they go on vacation. Ricky, yeah. Fowler, Ricky, Thomas, Thomas. Who's the other one? There's like two more, maybe or one. There's, there is another one. Shamandal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the water boy. I go get their beer. And <laughs> These guys are like in party time. It'd be pretty cool to be their water boy. I, I that would actually that when would be Reed really cool. Going, 
What's when, that? when Patrick Reed gets going, watch out. I don't think he's given up that lead. I think you don't. So up. you're so so you so you're you're calling it right now. I'm you think call- he doesn't relinquish the lead? I I don't think he's going to relinquish that. I think he's going to he's going to do it. Well, he does have an advantage because he hits it long. I mean, right now, technically, other than Leishman, he's got a four shot to five shot lead on quite a few guys, all the way up to six or seven shots. And we're talking like the the guys that we all picked. He's the we, kind of guy that you, he gets his teeth into something. Man, watch out. Especially when he's eating steak. <laughs> 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 now it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens here. I like you were saying, you know, Nikki with the rain. I think that's uh, I think that's gonna make things very interesting. You know, it, if it gets soft, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for the people that are trailing. Yeah. Well, it's going to be real different, that's for sure. Because I don't think people are going to make a, a super long number or super huge number unless it's so wet that just getting it out of the fairway into the greens is, is an issue, yeah. you know? Or they're just that much further out. Well, th- th- exactly. Yeah, that too. I mean, that's, I don't know. That's going to be, that's going to be really fascinating to see. And kind of you're, interesting, yeah. Leishman's got that shaft now. He can carry it farther. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to roll as much. The rain, he's got a, it changed him a little bit for the rain. They said he did Soft. pick up about 15 on the carry. Yeah. So they created, so instead of him going, like you were saying earlier in the show, instead of Leishman going with a shaft that's less spin, they gave him a shaft with more spin to, yeah. to raise the ball flight. Uh huh. Which it, it, it blew me away when they were talking about it because it just, as a fitter, if he came into me, I'd say, okay, you need an Atmos Black or whatever, something, you know, a spin killer. Right. And he went the exact, exact opposite. So they had to do something. They had to do something with the loft of the driver too. I would think if they did that, don't you think? Uh, you know they did say what what he was using, and I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I, I don't know. You would think they'd have to adjust. It'd be fascinating to know the combination of what they did with the not only the shaft, but what they did with the settings. Yeah, with, I'd love to driver. hear that too. I would have loved to have gone with you on that trip, Dave. Mm. That sounded so interesting. Cool. That was cool. I'd love to do that too. Is that that trip down to Fujikura? Is that just is that just an invite? That was yeah. That was for uh, the worldwide distributors, and uh, yeah, there were people from all over the world. I was sitting with a guy from Australia and then a guy from Spain. And, wow! And there we go. Yeah. So in case you guys missed it, Dave Dave was talking about Leishman. Uh, they changed his driver shaft last week. Gave him a shaft that has more spin. So it'll be interesting to find that out. You can follow that when you follow the Masters the next two days here. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Bill. Be right back right here on the Golf Talk Radio Network. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll take our picks for uh, from this point forward on who we think will win the Masters.